Now that we know something about the Notability annotation tools, let's look at the best ways to organize our Notability notes. By default, you're going to have all notes and then unfiled notes, which is anything that's not put into a subject or divider. And then your welcome file that we worked with in the last video goes under the welcome subject that's already created in Notability. Really, you're probably going to want to create your own organizational structure. And as a freshman, I'm going to create an organizational structure for all of my Notability notes in my different classes. To create those structures, we tap the plus button. There are two different things that you have here, subjects and dividers. Subjects are basically folders, and dividers will sort of separate those folders into different areas. So the way I like to think about it is that dividers would be my content area, so like English, biology, world history, so maybe the course name would be a divider. And then within that, I would have subject folder, so English unit one, world history unit one, and so on. So to create a divider, I would just tap create a divider, and I would just type the name of my class. For you, as a teacher, you may want to do this by subject, by course prep, by period, that's up to you, whatever organizational structure works best for you. I'm going to go ahead and create another divider for biology. Now that I have these subject dividers, I can go ahead and create folders within them. I'm going to start with English, and I'm going to create a subject folder, and I'm going to call it Unit 1 Narrative Structure, because I know that's the first unit in my Language of Literature book. You can structure this however you want that matches what you're doing in your course. And I would recommend, if you're using Schoology, that you mimic the structure that you use in Schoology. So if you have things in Schoology organized by topic folders, you may want your kids to organize their notes for your subject in two topic folders. Or if you have that by units, then you may want to advise your kids to organize your not the Notability notes by units. It's up to you, but try and make the structure easy for your students to understand. So notice here, I've created this subject folder, but it's underneath biology, and I really want it underneath English. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap edit in the upper left, and notice I have some tools now. Those three lines to the right of the, where it says unit one narrative structure, allow me to drag that to where I want to. So I'm just gonna drag it right under English. The gears on the left allow me to rename and color code things. So here is my subject folder that is unit one narrative structure. I can make this color red, green, blue, whatever color I want. I can give it an icon in some of the themes. I can password protect it, which I don't think you really need to do. But notice that you can edit those options there. I can also rename that there. I can rename dividers as well. Dividers do not have colors, only subject folders have colors. Then I would tap done in the upper left, and now I have a unit one narrative structure. Notice there's zero notes in there. So let me go to my unfiled notes. So this is the stuff that I have in Notability that isn't put into a folder yet. To move that into a folder, say I wanted to move this units targets at a glance under my unit one narrative structure folder. I tap and hold on the icon for units targets at a glance, and I drag it right onto that folder, and then that note will now be filed. So it's really easy to file a note just by tapping, holding, and dragging. And again, you do want to tap on the icon, not on the name. Also under the edit menu in the upper left, you can rename files using that. So I have this named in a way that there are no spaces and that makes me crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and add spaces so it's a little bit easier to read. And then I can hit done and I can rename a note in that way. Now that we kind of understand how we can organize our notes, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings for Notability. The settings can be accessed by tapping on the gear icon on the bottom left side of your Notability screen. Auto backup is going to be a really, really important setting for you and for your students. So before you do anything else, you're really going to want to make sure that you understand how to back up your Notability files. We are actually going to cover this in its entirety in a separate video because there are some steps you'll need to take first in order to set up your auto backup. So we're going to skip this one and we're also going to skip manage accounts. This is just the account that you would use to back up your notes iCloud should be turned on. This is another way that you can keep your notes up to date between your devices. So if I have two separate iPads or an iPad and an iPhone, I can turn on iCloud and I can access my notes and Notability from the app on both my phone and my iPad. So that's a good thing to keep turned on. 
Themes really just controls the look of Notability, so it's what the background colors look like. I like the colorful theme. You can leave it at the unified theme. You can use any theme that you want that's visible there. The document setting controls the default note setting. So when you create a brand new note out of, you know, just paper, it's going to give you a default note title. You can include the date and time. You can have the color of paper, whether it's lined or grid, totally up to you. The typing setting controls your default font size, color, etc. You can turn on and off spell check and turn on and off tap anywhere, which I would probably leave both of those on. The handwriting setting will allow you to tap and hold to enter zoom mode, which I would leave turned on. And then if you're a lefty, you can turn on left-handed mode, which means you can drag the palm rest down from the upper part of the screen instead of the lower part of the screen, because that's where your hand is going to naturally rest as a lefty. But I'm a righty, so let's turn that off. And then the iOS sleep timer is going to keep the iPad awake when you're taking notes and override that, I that iPad sleep feature. Those are the basic settings in Notability. We're going to next go into the third video so that you can see how to back up your Notability files using Google Drive.